welcome to my crop of sunflowers and sugarcane, a jewel crop, a new idea for the sugar industry. It's an idea that I took from over in the US and in Canada, I saw jewel crops being planted, but particularly over there, it's in, in various different grains industries. So how do I adapt that to what we're, what we're doing here in Australia and to my industry, which is the sugarcane industry? So the, this is sugarcane planted on two metre rows, um, just a single row of sugarcane, with sunflowers planted either side of the, the row of cane. The idea is that the two plants work together in a synergistic relationship to try and make the best for both plants. The sunflowers, these fellas, uh, are in the dry down phase now, they're nearly finished flowering and they've basically finished drawing moisture from the, from the soil. So now it's the sugarcane's chance to grow. So these will be harvested in around about a month's time and then the, the sugarcane will be able to grow away as normal. So both of these plants were planted within a week of each other back in August and the sunflowers will be harvested in January and the sugarcane will be taken through and harvested as per normal so when you're dual cropping, probably one of, the, one of the things you need to remember is you need to get a good strike of that second crop. For me, it was the sunflowers. I needed to maximise the number of sunflowers I had in the field. And what that does is help to shade the soil so that you reduce your, your other weed problems. So if you've got a lot of weed problem, the higher density of the extra crop that you can grow, the better, simply to shade the soil and, and thereby create that, uh, that biological weed control rather than using herbicides. So what does it look like after the sunflowers are gone? Well, here we are in the same variety of sugarcane, so it's Q240. And this is the crop that was planted earlier in back in May. So this had the sunflowers and here the old stalks are still here. This is all that's left of the sunflowers that were planted back in May and harvested in October. And the stalks have broken down really quickly and, and not caused me too much drama when it comes to, to forming the hill ready for, this, for the sugar cane to continue growing. 